years ago, I was laying in my room watching YouTube. And at 10 p.m., my other sister, Annabelle, called me to her room. I sat on her bed and she opened an email that said, Congratulations, you got into Reed College and Portland, Oregon. We both looked at each other and thought, This is getting real. Annabelle said, I don't want to leave home. So I lay down next to her and we cuddled and cried and fell asleep hugging each other. And a few months later, the bags and suitcases came out. Annabelle was ready to pack. She had too much stuff to take with her in one trip. And I knew she was at the holidays, breaks, and birthdays. But I was still sad. She wasn't going to be every trip away. We would be 1,348 miles apart. We would call once a week, but we're sisters. And that wouldn't be enough. I would want to see her in person. We would send her care packages, but with pink star cookies, it was not a welcome Christmas. And joked about shipping me to her in a box. She visited me and I was with her. I've gone to visit by myself a few times, and I always bring back something of hers to keep with me. Well, she's away. And when she comes to Arizona, we have dance parties in the car to love track, love up moments, and ABBA. We go shopping and write songs, and then she leaves. Last year, Annabelle, Annabelle's room was turned into an office. She had to fly in to go through all of her stuff. Some of it was keep, some of it was get rid of. The keep stuff lives in the closet, and there's still a bed in there. Even though when she visits, she sleeps next to me in my room. But photos, all the two of us are, are on the walls, and her aunt is Emma on the floor. My house is empty without her here. I miss the sound of her singing and playing guitar. We used to play games, and she should cook for me and do my makeup for photo shoots. Now we talk about our days over the phone, and because she's there and I'm here. There are no more midnight talks about what we do tomorrow. She came for my high school graduation and for my birthday. But that was only for a few days before she flew back to finish college. Annabelle just graduated from Reed. And we talk about her future while I was there visiting. She will live in Portland for a little bit longer We live for the rest of her life. She made a home there. But Arizona is a home home, and I hope she comes back.